Do you listen to motivational speakers? Like, are you a fan of all those elaborately inspirational things that they say, you know, aspire to perspire to desire what you require to acquire and then you refire and not retire so you don't maguire? It has become a recurring theme, you know, all those all those things. In fact, a lot of them even use rhyming words. It's like they're doing spoken word or they're just rapping. But are you a fan of them? Well, a certain Halima Abubakar has said, look, for your own good, don't listen to motivational speakers. It didn't come from me. Well, you're welcome to Unplug. Thank you so much for joining today. It is yet another episode of the show where we bring you all the updates from across the world, the whole nine yards, politics, news, um, entertainment news, sports news, every single thing that you need to know, we keep you up to date. Thank you so much. My name is Victor. And of course, this is exclusively brought to you by Every Every NG. Okay, now without further ado, let's dive right into the news that we have. Starting with entertainment, Lecon is in news again. He has been for the past couple of days. Um, starting yesterday, he dropped two new songs, Four For Me featuring YKB and Wagwan. Two different tunes, but really, really hard jams, to be honest. And, you know, yesterday he said that he was going to step into the streets of Lagos to hawk the songs. And today is Hawking Day. So, Lekon, I don't know if we're going to see him on the street shouting, stream Wagwan or stream 4 for me or whatever it is. I don't know. But we're keeping an eye on that one. All right. Now, let's talk Erica and Tacha. Somebody unprovoked decided to throw shades, not even shades, because it was like a direct hit at Erica and Tacha. And the person was like, anybody these days can just become a celebrity, you know, this and that. And at the end of that, said, just take a look at Erica and Tacha. I mean, they're not like really hardworking people. Whatever it is the person said. But Erica, so far, has not responded. But Tacha took it upon herself to, you know, whip this particular troll. And was like, look, before Big Brother, I was Tacha the influencer. I was Tacha the eat girl. I was Tacha the this. I was Tacha the that. And you cannot say I, I was nobody before Big Brother or, or I was not hardworking. Well, somebody else tweeted and said... A lot of people did not even know Tacha before big, the Big Brother house that all the Titans or whatever, maybe just 1% of them knew her or 1% of elites knew Erica, this and that. And, you know, she now came out to insult the show that gave her fame, in quotes. Now, Tacha he responded again and said something else, just replying, buzzbills, going back and forth. And then she said, finally, that there can never be another Tacha. Right, there can never be another toucher, there can never be a remake. And I'm like, oh, I'm tired of all this back and forth, looking left, looking right. Who is going to respond? We don't know yet whether Erica is going to say anything, she's probably busy with other things, which we'll get back to in just a while. But first of all, let's talk Kidwire, who you know can tweet all sorts of things sometimes. And this time, he really wanted to feel good about himself, and he went on his Twitter and reminded his haters that. His tweet, his um, endorsements, his collaborations are international. All his deals are international. That there's no small thing. He said not one, not two, not three, not four, not five. And they're all big deals. And he was like, there's more to come. I'm like, okay. All right. Congratulations, Kid Wire. Continue enjoying yourself. I don't know how you got to know you have haters. But anyways. And apart from that, he also took the time to appreciate Kid Rika fans. Kid Rika fans, as those who were shipping him and Erica from the house, even outside. And you know, their relationship has been something of a, I don't know, of stormy, pretty stormy here and there. And eventually we got to know that they're not together, or we think they're not together. Nobody really knows what might be going on on the ground. But Kid Wire really wanted to appreciate Kid Rika fans for all the support and everything, right from the house, even until they got out of the show. So that is that about Kid Wire. And I was talking about Erica, and I was saying she's probably busy with other things. There is a campaign going on now on social media, and it seems to be like a huge brand that is trying to break into the markets 
and is actually making use of big names to carry out their initial campaigns. Erica is one of these big names and it is called the Fire On Campaign. The hashtag has been trending on Twitter and we also have the likes of Dotun, Dotun the Energy Guard. And we, a lot of people are really anticipating what this Fire On Campaign is bringing to Nigerians. So we're waiting to see what that is and once there is perhaps an official announcement to let you in on what is on offer all right so let's move away from erica and others in the big brother niger house let's talk for brisky now but brisky you know is a big boy sorry big girl and always brags about his sorry her big girl moves and he decided to do sorry she decided to do it again with the coming to america movie where of course, there was a premiere here and there, a lot of people, you know, showing how they were watching the movie and all of that. Well, but Brisky said she rented out an entire cinema just to have privacy and enjoy watching the Coming to America movie. I'm like, okay, all right. I guess that's the in thing these days because on Kidwai's birthday, just last weekend, his friends rented out an entire cinema for them. I'm like, okay. I'm just first of all going to try to find out how much that costs and then we can take it on from there. All right. Okay, that's that about Bobrisky. Let's talk something a bit more serious, national issues now. And the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Mohamed Buhari, has issued an ultimatum to bandits in particularly Zamfara State and of course, of course, across the country. Now, the governor of Zamfara State, Belo Matawale, was saying that the president has issued a two-month ultimatum to bandits to pack their things and leave. Else, we don't know the exact condition yet, but definitely sounds like there's going to be serious action taken. All right, so bandits, if for some reason you're watching this in the forest, I don't know how, but you have just two months to stop your evil enterprise. Okay, or else the president is coming for you. My president is coming for you. All right now, let's talk to the president's daughter, Zara Buhari. She got embroiled in some um, accusations and allegations where a certain top official in the Nigerian Customs Service uh, was said to have transferred a huge amount of money to her in a bid to use her foundation to launder some stolen funds. Right, and we're talking about lots of money a huge amount of money we're talking billions here right but zara buhari has come out to debunk these claims and deny everything that she received no such money and you know how nigerians can be once they come for you especially maybe they don't like somebody in your family right they have a beef with someone in your family they don't just like the person they are going to come for you and zara is just trying to exonerate herself from the situation and say look i did not receive any funds like that so please make gonna leave me alone so please leave zara buhari alone until she's innocent until proven guilty okay and the president and the federal government is also working to reduce the pump price of petrol to guess what below 100 naira per liter i cannot remember the last time the price of petrol was below 100 naira per liter that was like years ago maybe almost a decade perhaps but there are plans in place meetings Supposed meetings that are said to be held, you know, in some time to see how this can be made possible. So we just keep our fingers crossed and hope that indeed it's going to be possible. And we hope it's not like a give and take, take thing where you get this and something else is taken away from you. But we'll see. All right, now let's talk um, something else. Let's go back into the entertainment space where actress Uche Ogodo got into trouble because she decided to. Kind of speak for Rosie Mara, um, Tondo DK's ex-husband's new wife, Ola Kunle Churchill. And the situation is just quite sensitive. And I think people in this kind of situation should just try to maybe keep their opinions to themselves. But Uche Ubudo did not do that. She congratulated Rosie openly on the birth of her new child and everything. And trust Nigerians, straight to the comments, attacked her. We're like you're so bitter look at who you're congratulating she even said rosie has a pure heart and you're like oh how can you say somebody like this has a pure heart after destroying somebody's home and family and i'm like nigerians y'all don't rest but uche has not said anything i don't know if she has said anything till now but 
she was trolled, she was dragged in the mud. I don't know if she minds, maybe she doesn't. All right, now let's talk someone else. Anna Banna. Anna Banna has been at the center of controversy regarding her skin, her complexion, and she decided that she was going to you know, just try to clear the air, put a stop to all the talk by clarifying that she has never in any way bleached her skin and all she does is use a glow kit uh, just to enhance her natural glow and she also admitted that she has blemishes on her arms on her back but she just tries to enhance her natural glow that she has never bleached her skin she's naturally fair skinned and like all right there you have it shove your opinions down your throat if you think she bleached that one is your business just leave her alone okay on the foreign scene now it's not very pleasant um COVID-19 is still taking a toll on some countries. Now, Brazil has hit another unwanted record. You recall that Brazil has the second highest number of deaths from COVID-19 in the world and beyond, or sorry, behind the United States of America. And now they have hit 2,000 plus deaths in a day. That is really crazy. 2,000, more than 2,000 people were recorded dead in a day due to COVID-19 related um, issues and it is now also bad in the African country of Mauritius that they have had to initiate another lockdown in Mauritius it is that serious so don't forget that COVID-19 is real right we might think we might think that it's not so bad in Nigeria because you know maybe we're not hearing so much large numbers anymore but it is real people still come down with the virus so you have to stay safe use your face mask your hand sanitizers and all of that okay now let's talk sports as we wrap it up it was champions league night again yesterday night and we had two big games the first between liverpool and rb leipzig and liverpool were able to extend their first leg um, advantage they defeated leipzig by two goals to nil and it ended four nil on aggregate so liverpool are through to the quarterfinals and in the second game it was paris Saint Germain against barcelona now barcelona put up a more much more improved performance in this game but they were not able to convert their chances so that game ended 1-1 on the night and 5-2 on aggregate psg have moved on into the quarterfinal and Lionel messi is out as well as cristiano ronaldo sad but that is all we have on unplug for today thank you so much for being a part of the show as always and until next time my name remains victor and this is every every ng Goodbye.